photos. Yeah, I need another picture for my Instagram. All right, I'll take. Anyway, we're in Saint Genevieve for a chocolate walk. So we're here at the Wilkins Center to pick up our pick up our goodie bag and start this chocolate Stop walk. Stop one. Stop one. All right, we got our map. We got our chocolate bag to put our chocolates in, and our map. And that was the first store. So I have not walked around St. Genevieve. This looks like a cute little historic shopping area. So looks looks good. All right, we're going slightly out of order. This is our third stop, even though it says number four. Right? Chocolate walk. Right. Oh, look at that puppy! <laughs> It's a museum. We have to look at one of the 1770. Okay, so it's definitely French because like the symbols and stuff. So Saint Genevieve is a French town. What makes Saint Genevieve French? <laughs> I like that pose, that was very good. <laughs> they are, they are. Every morning they say bonjour. They do. I like it. That's cool. I have one of these at home. Oh, <laughs> is it like a pencil camera? No, just it's just trinket? a cannon. Just a cannon. I, when I was cleaning my room, I realized I bought some pretty weird things on vacation. Yes. That's, listen, all these maps. We used to buy these when we were kids. Do you remember yeah. those? Oh, that was yeah. for sure. Did you buy these when you were kids? No, I don't soldiers. remember the plastic toy soldiers, but I do remember always buying like the maps and stuff, the old papers. Well, are they? At, um, oh, it's just like Louisiana Purchase. You'll learn about it in history. I know what the Louisiana Purchase is. So it's just like a reproduction of like the paperwork for the Louisiana Purchase. That's cool. I like that. It is cool. Armies in plastic. You think I should get Robert a historic army playset? No. <laughs> Thank God. I think we should if the armies were made of chocolate. Yeah, that would be good. <laughs> The girls are having so much fun, as you can see, why they play on their phones. Abby, what did Abby I'm watching Fortnite! Abby's watching Fortnite. She's upset that she's missing the whole Marshmallow Guy concert thing in the jigger. This guy's probably gonna watch it. She's watching play people for Fortnite. She's enjoying this beautiful weather. It is beautiful out. This town is interesting. I like it. Walking from shop to shop. Stop number eight. This is a clothing store. It's actually pretty cool. Marissa found some awesome boots. Kinder Scott necklace for girls. Kinder Scott? It is. It is. It is not Kinder Scott. It's not a Kinder Scott. It looks like with her Kinder Scott. That's what companies do. They copycat. Copycats. It's an interesting store. Hey, Narissa, did you know that you could use, Narissa, 
idea for your antlers. Oh, I love that. It Put your like necklace. Down. Yeah, because they're hanging. Oh. They're hanging necklaces they're hanging on them. Necklace. Okay. I like it. Could you could probably hang it the other way too. Yeah, you could hang it right side up and still. But Let's, yeah. Is that upside? Wait. She's yeah. saying the antlers are upside down. Oh. <laughs> but it's still neat looking. Maybe whoever made it doesn't doesn't know oh, maybe anything it's about not, deer. Yeah. <laughs> maybe it's not antlers. This was the big deal, and I swear this is probably like the same display somewhere when I was in high school. And that is so cool. So stop number 11 is this bar. I sent the girls in without me because it's so crowded. I feel a little anxious right now, so I don't want to deal with the fire fire today. Give me a snack for me. Stop 11. Oh, there he is. There's the cat. Right there. Oh, he's sleeping. these um, so this is um, what we made for the, co the cookie walk chocolate walk sorry <laughs> um, <laughs> <doing> that too. <laughs> um, this is dark chocolate so if if you like dark chocolate um, it's a little bitter on the bitter side um, but it has your cinnamon it has some cayenne pepper in it oh. so you're gonna taste some different spices which is how they made it back in the colonial time okay. oh, wow. um, there's this is just a little um, history tidbit for you to take home but the king of france um who also liked chocolate but they didn't have chocolate like we do today they had to actually make it mm -hmm. so that's what she's doing out in yeah. the courtyard yeah. she's actually making the the chocolate from the actual bean okay. oh. so she's crushing it and then melting it and adding all the stuff cool. so um there you go oh you need two chocolates thank you there so you much thank you, thank you. Very cool. This is really cool. I love history stuff. No, no, no. Okay. 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 Oh, I didn't see the thing. All right, go in there. Yeah. We can wait. We can wait. Felix the cat. We can wait. We're not rushed. You want to go for the cat? the chocolate walk that was in downtown St. Genevieve. Um, I think there was 20, how many? 25 stops. There was 
26 stops, and we did not make three of them. Um, but we made almost all of them. And it was definitely an assortment. Like, one of them, where's my chocolate-covered cherry? Oh, this is, here's a chocolate-covered cherry. That was interesting. And then this is white chocolate-flavored popcorn. Um, one, only one store had pre-made chocolate. Everyone else made their own chocolate, so that was cool. Lots of little truffles. There's a shortbread cookie. I definitely like the assortment. Um, they, there is no, I wish, the only thing I wish they would have done is like, you know, like a cookbook that said what each one was. It doesn't even say it on the list. So, and they weren't always, like when you picked it up, sometimes they would tell you what it was and sometimes they did not. So, who knows what half this stuff is. But it's chocolate and that's all that matters. And this is a cake pop. So, chocolate covered pretzel. Um, dark chocolate floor de lores. And then, um, since of course we're going through all these shops, I had to find some other stuff to buy. I bought this little leather bound journal. I bought a cookbook. Um, let's see. Hot pepper butter. The Delia onion hot relish. These are supposed to be hair ties and bracelets. And then I got Robert. The, a big bag of the kettle corn because it was so good and then one last thing my big big purchase was there was an art studio and so I got this artwork this lady made um, it was a pet studio all the artwork was different pets and uh, everything was donation and all the money goes to a pet shelter in the area so I thought that was pretty cool so I donated a hundred dollars and got this a beautiful cat portrait and um i'm really excited and robert loved it so i can't wait to find a spot to hang it up she did an awesome job i wish i could do art like that i cannot i am not talented in that area but it is beautiful so overall look at all the chocolate i think and what was it it was 15 dollars a ticket yes yes so 15 dollars a ticket i think it a fair deal um this is the third year they've done it I would definitely repeat it. I enjoyed all the little shops. Everyone was super friendly. The weather was perfect today. Now I just have to decide which one to eat first. Hmm. Oh, did you tell them about the old fashioned? This the old, the fashioned. old fashioned chocolate. Oh yeah, this. And then one of them had fireball in it. So this, oh, which okay. So she was saying this one. They actually did the old method of like grinding the chocolate out of cocoa beans. So she was saying that this is definitely dark chocolate. Definitely doesn't taste like normal chocolate. Is what else did she put in it? Like cayenne pepper and cinnamon or and something. Cinnamon. Yeah. Um, so Saint Genevieve is now like I, if I say this wrong, I apologize. It's either a state park or a national park, and so this place was a state historic site, and it's a national park. It just became a national park. So Saint Genevieve just became a national park. So they're definitely working on making more museums and stuff. And so the whole point of that place was to showing how they made chocolate back in like the 1700s. And then, Narissa, which one do you think is mm, the... It was a ball. It was... One of these has bourbon in it. Wait, wait, it was... Okay. It was one of our... It was the hotel stop. It was oh, a yeah. bed and breakfast. So it would have been Main Street. So we're looking for number 25. 25. Here we go. Yes. So what was she saying? Um, fireball. This? Fireball. But what is fireball? fireball whiskey, I think. Fireball whiskey. So they... Abby and Haley was, were not allowed <laughs> to be. They had child versions, and this is the whiskey version. So, Robert, you want to be the test test person and try the fireball? All right, we'll get Robert to try it. So, and you know, I had to. I was very happy when I found an old fashioned cookbook. That was in one of the museums. So, Robert's going to try. Try it. This one was squished. I don't know what this is. This looks like squished fudge. The smell is strong. It smells pretty strong. Does it taste like fireball bourbon? It's not bad. It's not bad. Here, let me try a little nibble. No, I mean it's not it's not overpowering. Is it cinnamony? I can smell it. Is fireball cinnamony? I don't really get any cinnamon. Mm -mm. Really? You know, honestly, if she wouldn't have I'm getting it a little now. If she wouldn't have told us there was alcohol in it. I don't think I would have realized there was alcohol in it. It's good. It's not overpowering. It's good. That one was good. Good. And then a cupcake. That was cute. Yeah, that 
That one came from this place too, I think. From the pet gallery. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, all right, well, it was a great, it was a great chocolate walk. Thanks for watching.